Democratic uh, coalition. I, I want to send my condolences to all of the, the families that have been impacted by this terrible, tragic crisis. And, uh, I, you know, we heard earlier about the mothers, and certainly the mothers know the danger of the t toxic drug supply better than anybody. They also have lived experience of what it's like to support someone with substance use challenges. They have insight, they have understanding, knowledge. We heard from Petra Schultz from Mom Stop the Harm at Committee, who comes from Alberta, which now has the highest toxic drug death per capita in the country, Mr. Speaker, that they've been requesting a meeting with the, uh, with the leader of the official opposition. They've tried repeatedly. He is the only leader that is not willing to meet with them and look them in the eye and listen to them. Can he please explain to Mom Stop the Harm, the moms across this country, why he refuses to sit down with them? Yes. With almost no time left, the Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. That's false. I have sat down with mothers who are affected by drug overdoses uh, and right across this country who reflect the view of almost all of those who are survivors of drug overdoses and drug addictions, and they are nearly unanimous in their opposition to the NDP Liberal radical agenda of giving out hard drugs. They want their loved ones in treatment and recovery so that they can be brought home drug-free, happy, healthy, and that is the hopeful future that we offer. Thank you.